Greetings everyone, it is I, the voice of Playboy Man. It is uh, Wednesday, August 16th, 2017. Today, we're going to talk about a debate that's been going on for the ages. One of which has been intense and involving arguments from both ends. From the left, from the right, from the ups and the downs, from the sideways. Even some dudes are in the background going, what? It's an issue that has just been hammered into this ridiculous crazy shit that we just can't seem to avoid AMD or NVIDIA which one do I get and you thought I was going to talk about politics didn't you no no we I've had enough of that for now we're going to talk about um, video cards as you know there are two AMD and NVIDIA you could count Intel, but Intel's always been about integrated graphics cards. They've never had their own actual graphics card. And if they have, we don't know about it because it probably sucked. Uh, but anyway, when it comes to these type of graphic cards, the ones that count AMD and NVIDIA, these are the ones that just get the most intense. On one end, you have AMD, which, while not as powerful as NVIDIA, it is more cost-effective, and some say it gets the job done. Where on the other side, there's NVIDIA, which is a little pricey, but oh my god, it gets the job done. And a lot of games are optimized, in some cases, to use NVIDIA, and some are optimized to use AMD. The question is, which one do you get? If you've ever been to a tech forum, like Tom's Hardware, or uh, any other forums that support graphics cards or anything in general about technology you mainly find those forums that you have that one person that has the who asks the question who creates a thread and is like okay which one do I get do I get the AMD this version or do I get the Nvidia this version this one costs this much but this one costs that much and they both get the job done so which one will do it and then one person will be like okay you should get AMD because Nvidia sucks and that's about it. That's all they say. And then another person chimes in and is like, Dude, the processing power of the NVIDIA is a hell of a lot better than the processing power of AMD. If we look at NVIDIA's, uh, I don't know, 970 GTX, we find that the processors here contain this many cores and are able to handle memory more efficiently by a matter of seconds and fractions faster than this particular card here. And then you have the flip side of that, where they say the AMD card is better than the NVIDIA card because said card uh, is cheaper for one and has more cores slightly faster better with overclocking and then goes into more technical details and they talk about Windermere and this that and the other and okay the RAM on this one is a DDR2 but the RAM on that one is a DDR3 and everybody knows that DDR3 is better than DDR2 but the thing is you're looking at the megahertz the megahertz on the DDR2 is faster than the megahertz on the DDR3 so it's better to get this one even though it's a different memory type it's just as fast as the DDR3 and it continues like this and goes on and on and on and somehow it turns into processors and at the end of the day when you look at this form that you've typed up this one thread you don't actually see the actual answer you're looking for and that is which one would you recommend I get I have been through that shit so many times that's what actually ended up leading me to my first graphics card that I got uh, the AMD Radeon H excuse me Radeon HD 30 seven thirty eight something I don't know uh, the graphics card had about uh, what was it about a gig worth of memory I think and what the fuck call ended okay hang on anyway it, it had all this, this stuff in it and what have you and it was just it was terrible it was the worst graphics card ever it was good for its time but Eventually, I discovered that the card that I purchased, which I got for $59, yes, this card was being sold on eBay, and it had actually been, what's the word I want to use, um, declared legacy around the time it was released, and I had no fucking clue, and no one really told me or said anything about it. I was like, hey, is this a good graphics card? And some people, and total strangers, mind you, were like, yeah, this is a good card. This is a great card. It's fantastic. And then AMD came out and said, this graphics card can handle this type of software. And then after that, this is just purely for legacy. You can't get the new stuff. It's not designed for the new stuff. And I found out very quickly how accurate that was. Yeah. And sometimes tech support would be shitty. And sometimes I would never really get the answers to my questions. I was basically on my own here. I couldn't actually ask someone 
who legitimately owned a computer, who legitimately was a gamer, which card to get? I had to just go it alone. You know? It was it was like that for a really long time. From, from that beginning, I'm like, I should have just went with fucking NVIDIA. I really should have. Just, see, the problem here is that when it comes to graphics cards or processors or motherboards and stuff, you just want a clear answer, you know? You honestly just want one simple answer, but it keeps turning into this whole AMD sucks, NVIDIA's better, and NVIDIA sucks, AMD's better. Yeah, there are some who have their own things about what they like and dislike, but that really doesn't hit home the answer to your question, which one to get. So, after a while you kind of say, fuck it, and just chill the hell out and relax and just... <sighs> Try to get it out of your mind and be calm and be still. Maybe watch a porno. Fix yourself dinner. Maybe watch that episode. Maybe watch an episode of The Bachelorette. By the way, don't watch any episodes of The Bachelorette. It's all horseshit anyway. But you know, you, you just try to take your mind off of it. I can tell you this right now, and this is something that I hope will help everyone. If you were ever in a situation where you have to make that choice between AMD or NVIDIA, here is what I say. It's not AMD versus NVIDIA, it's AMD or NVIDIA. If you look at it in the long run, both the cards are pretty high performance. AMD has its performance, and it has it to a certain degree, and NVIDIA has its level of performance to a certain degree. They all have specific features that they offer, like virtual reality and uh, you know, which ones they work with, how well they work with DirectX, what type of problems they have, what type of good things they have, the speeds and what have you. And they're mainly just relatively fast, so it's kind of a moot point in my opinion. You want to go with AMD, you think that it's a brand that can hold up and is trusted and shit, then go with AMD. If you think that NVIDIA is the better choice, go with NVIDIA. It doesn't really matter at this point. Just basically look at which features the cards offer and if those features meet your criteria or meet the majority of the criteria, that's the card you get. Oh, and if you can afford it. That's another thing. Price should be a thing. That, that's it. Just the price and the features. Get what you can at the price that you can afford and just go with God on it. Or whatever deity you choose to worship these days. Okay, that's the best course of action with any type of technology, with any type of software or machinery. You know, just... You're going to have to get some blood on those horns. And the best way to do that is to just take a shot, take a chance, and hope for the best. And the one thing you should never really do is that you never focus on this, uh, that specific, specific group of people who basically say, Hey, you should have the most highest high-end card. You only got this version of the card? That's mid-range. You should have gotten this one. It has more to offer. No. They're, they're pretty much the same across the board. Just get the one that has the features that you're looking for, the features that you want, and at a price that you can afford, and that will be the right card. Whether it be AMD or NVIDIA, totally up to you. They're both good in their own rights, in their own ways. Just pick one for the right price and just, just go with it and be happy. Same goes with hard drives, same goes with motherboards, especially motherboards. Oh my god, the conversations that I have had on those. Power supplies, just everything. Get what you can afford at a price you can... Get what you can afford, just make sure it's not some cheap generic crap, and for God's sakes, stay the hell away from eBay. S just just stay the fuck away, okay? Unless you want to take an old case and shit, and you want to Frankenstein something together on the cheap, which is like a last resort option just just stay the fuck away from ebay don't be that guy don't go there and be like oh, i'm gonna grab graphics card super cheap is it no that's exactly what i did that's the best advice i can give the one thing you should not do go to fucking ebay don't do it don't go to any don't no memory motherboard cases no i recommend new egg maybe tiger direct Maybe Micro Center, yeah, that's an actual place. But beyond that, just just those three places. Beyond the scope of that, no. Oh, and Amazon. Go for Amazon. Try Amazon, yes. But all that other 
don't you fucking go near eBay. All right, I don't want to. I don't want you posting up in the comments up in here, and it's like I went to eBay and I went and got the thing, the thing, and the thing. I don't want to hear that shit. You think I want to hear that shit? No, I don't want to hear that shit. I want to hear that shit. The guy next door doesn't want to hear that shit. My left testicle, which is just sitting there in the nutsack, loaded with whatever it's loaded with. I know what it's loaded with. I just don't want to say the actual words. Just it. it no, even it knows. Don't do that. So the fuck away from eBay, man. Stay away, especially for headsets. Fucking headsets, man. Headsets, microphones, just anything technology. Just fuck it. Don't go to eBay, all right? Don't be that guy. God damn it. Okay. Are we on the scope of that? It's AMD or NVIDIA, not AMD versus. And never, ever, never, ever, I forgot one last thing. Never, ever listen to people who have these conspiracies that the uh, processing companies are intentionally getting rid of all of, are intentionally depreciating their older graphics cards because they don't want to support them. It's all bullshit. All right, pick a card that has the features you want at a price you can afford, and that's the right card for you. If you want to upgrade, you can at a later time. Go at your own pace, and that's it. Is that all of it? Am I done with the eBay rant and shit? Yes, I'm all done. Uh, I hope this helps you in anything and everything, mainly when it comes to technology or, like I said, graphics cards, AMD and Nvidia. Um, give me a thumbs up thumbs down don't no thumbs at all drop a comment for the love of God do not spam me with music stuff do not suggest that I need music in my videos it's not happening okay cut and dry make the video upload to YouTube move on that's that's all it is don't even suggest it uh, you can catch this and uh, previous episodes of the voice of play with a man on my YouTube page on my YouTube channel uh, click the subscribe button if you like what you see here and uh, I will see you guys next time I was the voice of Playboy Man. Take care, and remember, stay the hell away from eBay. Don't even. Laters.